What's going on guys, Maddie here from dclblogger.com. All right, well, we've just got some crazy news with Decentraland. Mana's going nuts. Uh, we get some land volume. Um, there's been a couple of really big announcements. I just wanted to cover a bunch of different things, even go through the land market really, really quickly. I'm gonna try to time myself for 10 minutes. So we just had some announcements. Atari and Decentraland, looks like they have a partnership. Traditionally, when partnerships happen with Decentraland, they build a headquarter and they build some sort of an experience. Now, um, there'll probably be a headquarter, there'll probably be wearables, and now since Atari themselves are getting involved, I can see branded wearables, maybe, um, like I said, Pac-Man onesies, or maybe Space Invader hats, or whatever they have planned, there's gonna be that officially from Atari, maybe. Okay, I'm, I'm absolutely speculating now, I have no clue. They also have some really big IPs, like Atari, they have big brands and games that they've brought across. I know when Decentraland do these partnerships, they dedicate an art team and resources to build games out or build an experience out. This is what they did with Kraken. This is what they did with Binance. They had like a big meetup. Um, they had a really cool build that had different features and displayed what Decentraland is capable of. So I'm very bullish on what is going to happen with this. Um, traditionally, when, when companies just uh, tweet an announcement like this, it's a teaser and usually nothing really comes out of it or maybe something in the far future. But I know Decentraland specifically, specifically they don't really do teasers. <laughs> they, they always just do blog posts with something actually coming out and they go ahead and build it. So I'm bullish on what's going to happen. I don't know when this is going to come out, but I think yeah, it could be wearables. It could be a building. It'll probably be both of them and maybe even some games. Who knows? So awesome. Awesome. Um, also, uh, me and 25 or so collectors are part of a 100x art district and are building um, galleries next to each other. You probably have some, you see some familiar faces here. We're going to be building galleries next to each other in Decentraland, which is really, really cool. Can't wait to do that. Where is it located? It's located about here. Um, it's located about here, which is nothing special about the area, but the fact that we're all next to each other, I think makes it special. That's a really cool thing. Um, I'm also going to be building more districts like this. This was um, a land that a friend of mine owned. And so I chopped it up for him and we sold it all as pieces next to each other, but it's gone full full now, right? And so many people want to start building galleries. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to build teleporters in between this and maybe another district. So this massive estate here, I have access to this. I think it's like, yeah, 568 pieces big. So we're going to build, uh, we're going to chop this up in small, small blocks, um, which is, it's also a pretty good place. I mean, it's close to Ethem, uh, the battleground, which we know that Ethamon are building a virtual game there. Um, yeah, and which is to Dragon City. We know that Metacoven bought this area, so Metapurse owned this. So this is also a pretty damn good area. So if you're interested in buying land next to each other, let me know. I'm gonna start chopping this up or subdividing it and start selling it as the same way we did with the 100X and maybe join it through teleporters and all that sort of stuff. So get in touch if you're a gallery owner or, or something, um, collector, artist, whatever you want, let me know and we'll see if we can get you in the next uh, district. So this is, I guess, launching on the 29th. I think the date was the 20, 29th of Jan. And yeah, this is what Decentraland is all about. It's community oriented. Um, Decentraland is going to be nothing if community doesn't get together and build cool stuff together. So this is, it's happening now, right? It's very cool to see. Now, Grayscale recently announced, or this guy, Market Meditations, recently, new filing from Grayscale hints at five more cryptocurrencies trusts for Chainlink, Bat, Mana, LPT, XTZ. So... Grayscale are a, uh, I guess, a fund that invest on, into cryptocurrencies on behalf of other funds or institutions. So traditionally, they've offered Bitcoin, and uh, you know they've got trust for Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Litecoin, blah blah blah, Zcash. And so when investors come to Grayscale, they say, "Hey, we have X amount of money. We would like to invest in Bitcoin." Blah blah blah. Grayscale manages that portfolio, buys that Bitcoin for them on their behalf, and then manages that. So now, Grayscale are going to start offering. Decentraland and other altcoins to these new investors. And I think it's bullish for MANA because one, suddenly institutions are gonna be made aware of MANA. And I think now what's happening, especially in 2021 onwards, is this realization that it's not just coins or currencies. These are investments into different projects. Um, there's different sectors in this project. There's the blockchain gaming sector, there's the NFT sector, um, art sector, there's the DeFi sector, etc. So Grayscale need to broaden their investment options so you got bitcoin you got ethereum you and and mana i guess is the only one on this page 
that's going to be the NFT kind of avenue or the blockchain gaming, blockchain, NFT, you know, whatever that is, uh, avenue for these new institutions that get in. So I'm bullish on what, on, on like, if we go through a bull run and, you know, Grayscale own a ton of Bitcoin, they own like 3% of supply, $20 billion assets under management, it's, it's incredible. So I'm bullish on MANA even more now, now that it's part of a Grayscale trust or, or, or at least the offering. And this is Barry Silbert who um, explained, like he, he was on Raul Paul's show, who recently said that he wants to um, start investing in altcoins or pick some altcoins for his portfolio. So he's a global investor. So he'll, you know, probably approach Grayscale and, and invest through Grayscale or maybe by himself. But he's been, you know, Barry's been on his show and talked about um, Decentraland there. Um, so man has gone up 22%. Let's give it a refresh. I think, I don't know how high this is going to go, but I'm assuming uh, this news that came out is bullish across the board. Um, we saw engine. I mean, we saw engine get listed in Japan, and I think um, sand get in, get listed in Korea. These Asian markets are going to come online. There's only a handful of, of real, like, you know, blockchain gaming, uh, NFT project, cryptocurrencies. There's like maybe five or ten handful of those that have been around for more than two to three years. So as these get listed, I think it's going to be just just crazy. Uh, my predictions, and I, I'm personally bullish. I know I'm probably um, building some FOMO for you guys, but you know, just make sure you do your own research because I'm just I'm bullish myself and just sharing what I've learned today. I woke up to a lot of craziness. So these are some pictures of Kraken and Binance, and you can see what has been uh, launched on Decentraland. We know that they're working on VR. We know they're working on their own client. We know that graphics are going to get better. We know it's going to go VR. Um, so that's going to be cool. And yeah, so that area there, again, now if you're investing in land, so some people have come to me and said, hey, Maddie, where's the best land? Where should I invest? Different areas do different things. Um, the cheapest current land at the moment is 9,000 mana. So obviously anything in this range is, is a good price if you can get it in that range. Now, if you get into a different like aspects, so for example, land on the far outskirts is about 9,000 mana a piece. Land that's more central connected to a double road is a little bit more expensive land connected to a single road is more expensive so like 12 to 15000 mana if you start to get connected to you know a single road so these are all road avenues these are gray light gray squiggly lines um the more central you go so for example these green blocks are genesis plazas these are where decentraland um are managing these areas and building these out these are really massive areas for example uh this is crypto valley district this is where binance and kraken and those hqs have dropped so for example yeah, Crypto Valley Districts is where that happened. And you can see all these big HQs here, Maddie, uh, Matic, DCL HQ, Conference Centers here, Binance is here, Kraken's across the side. So this is kind of being expanded to MetaCove and MetaPurse recently bought this. Ethermon's launching here, OpenSea are here. A lot of activity going here. So uh, MetaCove and uh, MetaPurse bought this for 30,000 mana a piece or around that. Um, it was my land that sold. And there's some land that's available right next to them connected. They've broken it up into 25, but this is actually connected. I'm selling for about 25,000 mana a piece because it's connected to two districts and next to Metacoven and in, in the midst of a ton of activity. Then you have these for about 20,000 mana a piece uh, because, you know, suddenly you're getting a little bit more central to the business activity at the very least. Um, so just like that, you know, land that's in the middle of a bunch of districts that's doing a lot of cool stuff. So each of these purple blocks are districts. So you can see amusement, amusement park, central marketplace, Vegas city, Vegas City is building casinos and all sorts of things. This is where we launched about 85 galleries here as well, art galleries. Um, you know, land that's connected to those areas is getting expensive. So I would personally, if I'm a new investor, I would try to look for a two by two piece or a four piece like this. At the very least, it gives you some, some decent build limits. Um, the more land you have connected, the higher you can build. Um, so one that's reasonable at that price, ideally connected to a single road if you can get it at... Uh, a good price or even connected to a district so search for those um, if you get bigger it'll be more expensive but you do do your research a little bit go to nonfungible.com you can kind of see the recent sales that's been happening if you go to OpenSea, you can see that the um, trade volume has been about uh, 170 maybe 180 Ethereum, which isn't much but I think you know this is the first time I've woken up and there's gonna be a really big sale soon I think um, some really big investors have come across that want to purchase these massive estates. For example, I'm in touch with 
the guy that owns this massive estate and is this for sale these estates and you know this is a massive acquisition if it happens i think we're going to see some really big land acquisitions we've got 190 ETH volume in the last week um and i think that's got to do with a lot of um, mana increasing in value but anyway bullish across the board bullish for mana token bullish for land and everything that's going to happen dcg also own land and this is why i'm bullish for land because dcg own like 4,000 pieces of land, right? Oh, sorry, Grayscale. So Grayscale or DCG, whatever it is, Barry Silver owns uh, 4,000 pieces of land. And now if they start offering um, land or NFTs as an investment vehicle for these, you know, for Grayscale Trust, you got mana, then they start to invest in NFTs and land is their first option. Suddenly people are going to be exposed to the land market. So virtual reality real estate investing or virtual real estate investing, virtual, re virtual reality soon. Anyway, just, in, just some quick words on everything. I actually have a meeting in about a minute, but uh, very bullish across the board. And I hope this sheds some light on all the madness that we're seeing right now.